Well, absolutely. See, the length of time, many urologists are mixed up about this. The, the length of time since vasectomy has no effect on the testicle sperm production. The only thing it affects is the pressure buildup causes blowouts and perforations in the more delicate ductwork that conveys sperm from the testicle into the vas deferens. So they can put the vas together perfectly and it doesn't matter. The success rate is zero because there's another obstruction closer to the testicle caused by the pressure buildup. The testicle itself has completely normal spermatogenesis. So what you have to do is bypass that very, very delicate uh, tubule that called the epididymis that is what's conveying the sperm from the testes into the vas. And then you have perfectly normal sperm counts. So, uh, and also now that urologists in the last 20 years have been sealing the vas excessively tightly, which I recommend against, um, what we're seeing is even at what, two years, five years, men are having blowouts in that epididymis and you really have to do an epididymal repair or bypass if you expect to have a successful result. Nothing to do though with the length of time since vasectomy hurting uh, sperm potential at all.